Hello guys, welcome to class. Today I'm going to be working out the question you see on your screen. And it's a question under statistics. It's actually a unique question because if you check the number of students, which is frequency, you will see an unknown X there. And we're asked to find X. But again, we have been given the mean, which is 43 over 14. So let me show you how we do this. Now, check out my table. You see, before we do anything, let me lead you to this. We've been given the mean. All right? The mean is equals to 43 all over 14. Now, we know that mean is having the formula summation fx all over summation f. It therefore means that summation fx all over summation f must be equals to 43 over 14. Now we move to the table. On the table, we are going to work it out so that we can get the expression for summation fx over summation f. Now, remember this is an ungrouped data. So our x here stands for the max or the scores, which we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, representing the scores. Now, for the uh, um, frequencies, which is number of students, we have x plus 2. We have x minus 1. And... 3x minus 4. Okay, we are moving. Now, we need to get the column fx, which is f times x. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Now, 1 times x plus 2, of course, is going to be x plus 2. 2 times x minus 1, I have 2 into x minus 1. The next, I have 3 into 2x minus 3. The next, I have 4 into x plus 4. Then the last, I have 5 into 3x minus 4. I want to believe you you are following me and you know what I've done. So, to express it better, this will be x plus 2. Now, the second, once I expand the bracket, I'm going to have 2x minus 2. The third, I'm going to have 6x. Then 3 times minus 3, we have minus 9. The fourth, I'm going to have 4x plus 16. Then the fifth, I'm going to have 15x minus 20. Now, the next thing is to get the summation. All right, I'm going to add everything under the column of F, which is the frequency, because F stands for frequency. Now, this is how you add it. You make sure you pick this x plus this 2x, uh, sorry, plus this x, then plus 2x plus x and plus 3x. Adding it, I'm going to have 8x. Then 2 will come to this side now. 2 minus 1 minus 3 plus 4 minus 4. I'm going to have minus 2. So I'm done with that. I've added it. Then I'll come, I'll do same thing. Here, x plus 2x plus 6x plus 4x plus 15x will give me 28x. Then minus, I have 2 minus 2 minus 9 plus 16 minus 20. I'm going to have minus 13. All right? So, um, since I have this, then I will now come fix it. Remember, we said the mean is summation fx all over summation f. Now, this will be 28x minus 13 all over 8x minus 2. And recall, everything here is equals to 43 all over 14. Now, you could see that it has turned to be an equation where when we cross multiply, I'm going to have 14 into 28x 
minus 13 then is equals to 43 into 8x minus 2 all right so i'm moving now i'll expand the bracket on expanding the bracket i'm going to have 392 that is 14 times 28x is 392x then minus i have 14 times minus 13 i'm going to have then to the right hand side 43 times 8x will be 344x then 43 times minus 2 of course this is simple this is going to be minus 86 then i'm going to collect like terms okay now all the x i have 392x then picking this over and equal to sign becomes minus 344x then is equals to minus 86 plus 182 now this is what i'm gonna have this will give me 48x then is equals to i'm gonna have um i think okay yes 96 so to get x is equals to 96 all over 48 and my x is equals to 2 that's the first question so i'm done with the first question now i am going to uh, rewrite this table using my value of x as being 2 all right so when i come to this place you could see that here x plus 2 which is 2 plus 2 now is 4 now this will be 1 then 2 times x is 4 minus 3 i have 1 then 2 plus 4 i have 6 then 5 okay here i have 3 times x which is 6 minus 2 minus 4 i have 2 so i have it then let me rewrite it so on the screen you can see the summary all right now to answer the last question which says uh, the probability of a child scoring uh, at least four marks when picked at random this is what you are going to do now you know the probability okay of at least a four marks will be um number of students number of students with four marks all over total number of students now since we've calculated our x now total number of students means summation f now if we check it out our summation f will be uh, 4 plus 1 that is 5 then 6 this is 12 and i have 14. now the students that scored at least four marks means four and above if you check they are just this and this so they are eight all right so the probability now of at least at least four marks will be equals to six plus two which is eight all over the total which is 14. now taking it to the lowest term i'm gonna have two here is four and two here is seven so the answer is four over seven this is the probability of picking two uh, of picking students that score at least four marks it's a very simple question and interesting question so thank you for being with me don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to keep watching and learning mathematics thank you